Welcome to another episode of Steph Reacts. We are going to react to another episode of Roast This. But before we begin, do you know your amazing facts of the day? The fact said, there's enough gold inside Earth to coat the planet. I didn't know that, but now you do. So let's go. <laughs> On the screen there. Boom! Welcome back to another episode of Rose. This, the comedic show where we talk about everything in the culture. I'm your host, Brandon Lewis. I'm never by myself. I'm always with my brethren. Starting from the right, man, and going all the way down. Y'all give it up for my nigga all the way from Sacramento, California. Sacramento. Y'all give it up for Anthony Doughboy Belcher, a.k.a. Dohamid Ali. What up with it, man? It was a stretch, but you know what I'm saying? You know why they call me Dohamid Ali? Why is that? Because I float like a butterfly. You know I'm a G. Come yeah, on, man. Man. okay. I was I was crazy. And that was solid, man. And, and right next to him, man, my other brother, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. My dog is always blessed as fuck. Y'all give it up <laughs> for Ronnie Jordan, aka my dog. That's just my dog. I ain't really got no aka, but I'm just gonna throw it out there. What's what the 6 p.m. thing? What was the 6 p.m. Oh, yeah, yeah, but this oh, yeah. from Atlanta. That's that's. Go ahead, Ronnie. Go ahead, say something before I answer that. I got you though. No, how's everybody doing, man? Yeah, Good man. to be on here, man. How y'all roast man. doing? The fans are roast this. Blessed. Appreciate Blessed. all the love, man. This has been it's been a great ride, man. This is fun. I like doing this every Tuesday. We got we get real fan interactions and real hate and love at the same time. Thanks, <laughs> right. always, it. man. Amazing. And last but not least, my dog that's never seen, but he's always in between. Y'all give it up for my nigga, Dean. What's up, Lou? What's up, B-Lou, Doughboy, Ronnie. How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing? How was the weekend? How, how, oh, of course, sports Sports was on. The Game 7s were crazy. Uh, a lot of stuff happened over the weekend as well. But, you know, we'll get into a little bit of those topics in a little bit. But most uh, – we actually going to do a recap of uh, Roast Me uh, Season 5, Episode 4 today as well. We're going to go through a few of those clips again and, uh, you know, touch on a few things. I think this is one of our better episodes for sure. Much. This is when uh, Notch got uh, roasted for about, I don't know, 10 minutes straight. Notch, <laughs> Notch, got, Notch got smoked oh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. have to do him like that. Yeah, wet up. Huh? Yeah. 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 Uh, like that sometimes, baby. It's, that was a good episode. It was. That was a fire episode. That was. Shout out to everybody who's been supporting, man. Yes. Matter of fact, while we at it, man, if you're watching this podcast. I must admit that after season one, the episodes of roast me has gotten it better and better and better and better i cannot wait for you guys to reach episode six and seven we are on our way to episode six and this will be the following week the time of this uploading this is june 1st 2022 so the following week will be episode Six of roast me but episode five oh my goodness so far episode five has been the best right now if you're tuned in right now locked in with us right now make sure you hit the share button man tell a friend to tell a friend to tune in every tuesday 6 p.m on the west 9 p.m on the east Follow each and every individual on this podcast right now while we're taking time out to pay these bills. Follow Ronnie Jordan at Ronnie Jordan. Follow myself, Big Bang Lewis. Follow Doughboy at I am Doughboy right yeah. now on Caffeine. Run them numbers up, man, so we can stand out and continue to give you great content on this platform. Bro, you have such a great DJ voice. I got to hear you at the club and, like, announcing songs, man. You got to get into DJing. Like, that's got to be, like, the second 
phase of what you do, man. You have such a great DJ voice. You do. I know. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> What you say, Ronnie? <laughs> I just I want to say a big uh, rest in peace to a comedy legend from Chicago, man. Big roast legend. Yeah, but yeah. Y'all didn't get to see like that on this show, but he just passed away, man. Condolences to his family, Marcus Cones, man. Right. Rest in peace, rest Chicago's on. That's one of my OGs, man. Took me out of town on numerous occasions. We did Bad Boys of Comedy season one together, and uh, that's just a it was it's a heavy week for co- comedians, man. So y'all uh. Tap in with your people you love, man. Always, you know, appreciate the art that what we do. We roast and stuff, but we are humans. And uh, rest in peace to Marcus Cones, man. Rest man, in y'all peace, look man. him up, man. His special, Cones, just, man. his special just came out on YouTube, man. It's oh, funny as hell, bro. One of the one of the funniest people on the earth, man. We we lost one. We lost a good one, bro. How did he pass? Yeah, I didn't get a chance. To, I didn't get a chance to meet him, but I heard many, many great things about it. Yeah, I met him before. How did he pass, though? I don't know all that. I, I don't want to speak okay. on all that gotcha. family and stuff. We got family and. He got a, I know he got a kid and you know, it's just, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. we all parents and humans at the end of the day, man. I just wanted to show right. some love and some respect to a, a real one. You know what I mean? So yeah. y'all tap into the caffeine app too, man. Download that caffeine app for sure. Download y'all are talking to me on the caffeine download app. That, download it like my dog Ronnie Jordan said. If you What's don't up? got the app, go to your app store. Hey. Download caffeine. Uh, there you go. How many of you guys have, have download the app Caffeine? I wanted to know because, to be honest, there is a split reaction re- reaction with um, Rose and me going on the Caffeine app other than YouTube. So let me know how you guys feel about it. Follow us <laughs> all there so you can watch this. Then follow each and every individual on this platform and with that being said let's introduce another brethren to the god darn episode all the way from detroit michigan y'all give it up you know what they say didi i've always got to say that that nigga say Lazy boy, look like, like lazy boy. Chris, you look like Chris from Chris Cross. Inside out is wiggity 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 wack head ass. That's funny, man. I'm not even gonna roast you guys. I'm gonna rise above that. Uh, that? <laughs> My nigga Ronnie, welcome back, man. What's up, man? Good to be back, man. Good to yeah. be back. Yeah, look yes, like you sir. at Trek House. Uh, <laughs> I am in my I am in my cook, my cooking layer. It's another apartment downtown Atlanta where I store the cookies and treats. <laughs> you got yeah, an apartment are, just to cook in? Yeah, yeah <laughs> don't tell my wife, man. We, we really need to keep it low for real. This nigga got an apartment for when he cheat on his diet. Like, yeah, this, 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 this is all my this is all my this To be honest, Ronnie always walks into situation where he's getting roasted because of him. I don't know what it is, man. Yeah, the side meals at yeah. <laughs> all my side dishes. My side dishes. <laughs> yeah, we shoot we shoot uh we shoot twelve twelve as fuck man. More the culture studios I'm in the I'm in the attic of the studio so okay. you know, shout out to that man Shout out to yes, y'all boys, yes, man. Yes, Shout out to y'all boys. We try, we're trying to get like y'all, y'all man. Together, man. Yeah, That's yeah. a good-ass union down there. Y'all pooling. We're trying to get, yeah. you know, we, we see content was the way because of y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man. Get yeah. free. Yeah. Content is king, man. Content is content king, is king. It we is. Just, we were just out here ripping, CP. Talking about we ripping. Nigga, Nigga. what do you own? Nigga, Gucci, <laughs> Gucci is king. <laughs> Gucci is king for sure. Gucci is king. Then... Uh, cars. Then, uh, <laughs> then, kind of, no, I'm bullshit. No bullshit. Hey, did any lights is king, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> Why you bullshitting? Bullshit. Lights is cloud is king. Did anybody see it just dropped today? Has it, have any of you guys watched uh, Cat Special that just dropped on Netflix? No, I ain't been to the crowd. I heard, I saw oh, Miss Jim. Miss Jim posted it, so yeah, it just dropped. I'm gonna watch it after. after oh, Miss Jim posted the cat. When I've been on Netflix. Yesterday, I seen it on Netflix, but I haven't really, I haven't clicked on it to watch it, but it looked like it would be funny. I might have to take a look at it, though. Let me know if you guys watch the Cat Williams show, and how is it? 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to Cat Williams, though, man. I heard he was a big fan. Not a big fan, but I heard that he watched uh, Roast Me uh, yeah. via, uh, and what's the OG name? Uh, Hank, oh, Mark Cooper. Hang, uh, is Mark? it Mark Cooper? No, what's Mark that? Curry. That's the real, Curry. real OG. Yeah, yeah, real that OG nigga, Mark oh, Curry. Oh, Cat Williams watched this shit? Yeah, Cat Williams, he don't watch the podcast. He watched the show, Roast Me. He watched Roast Me. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He watched Roast Me, bro. Says, uh, Mark told me when we was in, uh, what city was that? I was in, Min oh, Minnesota in the Delta Lounge. Stunt. Uh, that uh, he said he got on the tour bus. He said he got on the tour bus, and Cat was watching it. Wow, like that's, that's crazy, hard. bro. That's he crazy, said, man. Yeah, he, he was like, he know all y'all. He was like, yeah, he know all y'all niggas. But he said that's what Cat be on though. Like Cat be on like collecting a lot of data and understanding and knowing everything and shit. Yeah, Cat was a pretty good ro like roaster after to me. That was his thing too. That was a lot of his yeah. actual wild, dope. Wild was, like him out. roasting somebody. Absolutely, so I can see that. Too. Yeah. Hey yeah. man, Cat, Cat, if you out here listening, man, come get your boy. Come get me, nigga. I'm a legend. <laughs> Sound like I ain't shit. Scoop your man. To be honest, that would be an awesome episode if Cat Williams show up on the Roast Me platform. Boy, I think you he will kill. They need to do that. Bring a comedian, like well-known, established comedian, like Cat Williams, maybe uh Kevin Hart, whoever. Um, Country Win, Desi, Desi Banks. Bring them on the show. I will see how they will adapt and everything. Said he be up on everything, though, man. Shout out to Cat Wins, man. That was uh, that warmed my heart, man. That the nigga yeah. uh, be watching and knowing everything, man. Shout out to. I'm going to tell you something, bro. I ain't no hater, bro. I look up to these niggas like a motherfucker, man. Right. Like when I be on stage and they walk in the comedy club, bro, I be like, oh, shit. Shout out to Cat yeah. too, man. That nigga finally answered my question that I always wondered for years. What was that? He, uh, he answered that question on Arsenio when he asked him, where do you work out at, nigga? I always wondered where did this nigga work out at? Because I've been in L.A. for 12 years, and I've seen every comedian workout except for Cat. Oh, you mean like workout material? I thought yeah, you meant like material. in the gym. No, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Uh, <laughs> I was like, gym. He hit the that this sounded weird though. I was like, what? Where is he going with that story? But because then he cleared it up. Wow. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I mean working out material. material. Hey, like, what, what, what kind of what kind of 24 <laughs> hour fitness stalker is you? Like, nigga, look at this. I was like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the B Lou, the nigga's rich. <laughs> that makes sense. Where, where does he work out at? Hey, like real nigga, like though. I was gonna let you finish. I'm like, okay, yeah, my nigga sounded kind of fucked up, but I'm gonna let him finish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead, though. So where he work out at? Where does he work out at? Nah, he said he don't work out. He say that uh, comedy is just a continued conversation for him mm -hmm. to his audience, which is facts, like a motherfucker. But mm -hmm. you would never think that with that angle that he takes, that's what it makes sense, though. So like, he doesn't work out material. He just takes that to arenas. Yeah, he just continues the conversation. That's insane. As, that, but that's his mind. That mindset is kind of dope, though. That basically, I'm just looking shit. up. That's I'm just not work, wait, 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 wait. To not work out the material before you do it in front of thousands yeah, of people. Not, but, but that mindset alone, just within that, just within that small uh, little info that he shot out, he don't look at it as material. He looks at it as a continued conversation. So if I'm on the phone and I'm gonna continue a conversation, nigga, I don't gotta really work no. it out, nigga. It's I gonna work out. Itself. I hear what you're saying, but I've never heard another comedian say that. That's insanity. Exactly. That's wild. He's wildly gifted to yeah. not have to work out and just step on a stage, never have said this shit before and know right. it's going to work. Right. That's you confidence, know, nigga. That's confidence. That's, that's confidence in knowing that I'm finna talk to the people that came to fuck with me and they pretty yep. much gonna fuck with exactly. anybody else. That's I exactly what that is. Ooh. That's exactly what that is. Level, bro. When you at that level, bro. When you at that level, crazy. When you that's at crazy. that level, bro, your set is like it's like your podcast. Right. It's like nigga, this is it's the like people a, come to see yeah. me. That's like 85 South. Like nigga, their audience is like nigga. I ain't gonna say no names. I heard somebody bomb real bad at their show because they was trying to do, <laughs> Try to do material. 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 They don't want that. Yeah, like, they you gotta want, read yeah. the room. How these you know, well, you know, right. other niggas in material too, but you just gotta understand what kind of material is gonna translate to. But at the same time, but at the same they time, you know what's funny? The outfit. 
Huh? <laughs> they they moved the, 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 the outfit. They hey, uh, the outfit. I'd have been moved, man. Bro, hey, what I realized is that once you get out of the stigmatism of like this is how this is how it's supposed to be. When you I'm perform, sorry. I'm sorry. The stigmatism. <laughs> Is it, is it the stigma? I, like it's just, I think it's a stigma, but the stigmatism isn't worth it. You used the word. The stigmatism is for the eye. eyesight. It's your eye. It's the eye. Oh. It's your and eye. see, it's people know that. I, no, I, I think I placed it right. I think I placed that. You think you got it right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Get it? I don't know. Once you get out of here, the stigmatism is a correct word, right? No, don't know. You say what? Huh? Once you get out of the stigmatism, which is a shut it's up, nigga. Stigma. <laughs> it's the stigma. Once you get out of the stigma, stigmatism. No, it's no, it's it's once you get out of the it's once you get out of the enigma. That's what it is. Enigma. No, it's once you it's once you get out the restaurant, nigga. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you see how they do? You see how they do? It's it always a fat joke. It's always a fat joke. Yeah, they do. I hate it. Every time I hate it. boy walk in the restaurant, he be like, man, they can put a drive through right there. <laughs> put a drive through over there. I ain't have to come in here. They put cars right up to the thing. <laughs> because it's not uh, a cheesecake factory, apparently. Looking at it. Oh, Ronnie, you missed it, dog. <laughs> Nigga, you missed it. I said, Doughboy wrote a letter like, first of all, this is not a Cheesecake Factory at all. This is a regular restaurant. Don't the advertising. But I expected to wear a hard hat and come in here and see how cheesecakes was made and built in the history of cheesecakes and a gift shop for this cheesecakes. Nigga, I thought about that shit. I thought about that over the weekend and just laughed out loud. Like, see, it's not a factory. Fucking... It is not a factory. Hey, I, mean, I know Ronnie, like, nigga, I was mad. That industry would have would have exploded if they actually did it like that. If show how cakes are made, and you could actually build your cake. Oh my goodness! Oh, you could put stuff in it and everything. Chocolate, no chocolate, white chocolate, strawberries, berries, raspberry. Oh my goodness! Mm. If they did it like that, I kid you not. I think that would take out. That would destroy all the cake businesses out there if they did it like a factory where you could actually see the transition on how it's made and everything. And, oh my goodness, I like that idea though. Yeah, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, yeah. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Bilu. Once you get past the uh, astigmatism, then what? Oh, no, no, no. Like, but once you get past that thought, like, this is how a set is supposed to be, and you just be you. I think that's the freest ever. Like you gotta break that train I of mean. thought from like training yourself. Cause we you train yourself to be like, oh shit, you gotta do this premise punch. But when you get out of that thought process and just be like, I don't care what y'all think in a sense, as far as like uh I guess the comedy critics on like, oh, you should is it's supposed to be like this and it's like this, and you just talk and be free and be funny. I think that's the purest. I like, think that's the dopest. Do you do you feel like cause I know you guys are doing stand-up a lot these days? I know you guys are doing the Netflix is joking stuff. So when you do that. Would you like try a new joke on a stage that big, or are you still kind of in the stage like, no, I'm only doing the proven shit at these big shows? I did. Uh, uh, coincidentally, I think I placed that word right too. Uh, you did. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I did. I did new material at uh, the Netflix's joke uh, show I did with Tony Baker. I threw it out there. I threw out new material. Uh, it didn't go. It didn't. I didn't bomb. But as far as the smoothness of my thoughts it wasn't as smooth as i would do you think it was because you weren't as as comfortable with it as the other shit okay for sure but at the same time i'm i'm on that shit where it's like i gotta break this fear and break that uh that stronghold of 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 like thinking oh i can't or thinking like oh i gotta work out every thought first before i say it and just say it nigga and like this is the workout and but not even saying that but not even saying workout anymore but like nigga this is funny. I'm funny. Like that's what I'm. That's what I was saying. Like I gotta break that train of thought where I think I gotta go through. I gotta make it go through so many cycles before saying it, and I just need to say it and be comfortable and like, be with free. it. Free, right. yeah, be free. Like be in the moment, be free. Right. Because I'm gonna tell you, bro. I had, I had, I was uh, in Houston this past weekend, and uh, I caught myself on stage, nigga. Like, nigga, I caught myself on stage doing my material and was just like, nigga, I was like soulless, bro. Like that shit. It wasn't even fun to me no more. 
Like mm. Miz said, I was just like, man, this y'all laughing, but I hate doing this material, bro. Like, what, what was it about? Was it because it was just material that you're tired of doing? Or yeah, it's just... like it's like material I'm tired of doing, and it's like I'm at the point now where I want to just be more free and like just talk. Do y'all ever go on stage blank? I've been hearing that from different comedians. Do y'all just go on stage blank and just create in the moment? I'm so deathly afraid of doing that, and every time I try, I fuck up and 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 just go right back into material. Do y'all do that, Ronnie or CP? I go on stage well, blank sometimes. Do you ever go what? on stage? Do you ever go on stage just blank and just paint and just just figure it out? Oh, like nigga, ninety percent of the time. How, how do you have the strength and 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 confidence to do that? Oh boy, oh boy, listen to Repetition. me, bro. Listen to me, bro. Listen, dog, like. Do you understand that if LeBron stood on his tippy toes, he'd be taller, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously. Being tall is one of the names of the game in the NBA, right? Right. Can't teach height. But as tall as LeBron is already is tall enough. See, like, nigga, if I wanted to just construct this shit so crazy, it could be funny. But I'm already funny. And so I don't put any pressure on myself. So that's why my wife would call me, how you do? Some nights I'm not, eh, I wasn't that funny tonight. And that's very rare because I trust myself so much to the point where when I write jokes, I just write down premises. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, big bitches, big bitches, rolls over the belt. Bam, that's all I got to say. I know how I feel about that. So when I bring it up on stage, I'm going to go into a banter about how I feel about that. Being me. You know what I'm saying? I have, I have over 400 jokes. So you're not even writing anymore now. You're just coming up with the idea and then coming just up with the idea. expanding because, on it. Because here's what, bro, I, go watch my sets. Even if I do the same joke, it's never the same way. I never right. get into it the same way. Like what, what strikes it, what strikes that, that, that motivation may not be the same every night. And you got to be prepared. Some of them jokes, you, you didn't hit them 500 times, they're not even going to hit the same because you sick of saying it. Damn. <laughs> I, I, I watch. I watch the crowd too. Like before I go up, I'm watching the crowd. I'm seeing what's going on in the room. CP is so correct. You can actually see he is well experienced. I I get actually check out a few of his videos if it's on YouTube. I will react to it. But he he seems as though he know what he is talking about. So I have to check it out. Let's see what Ronnie have to say. I'm seeing if they was tired getting in. I'm seeing if the security lame as fuck. I'm seeing if, uh, if, the, if you know, I do a lot of schools and shit, so I can sit in the back and I can listen to them talk shit about me not knowing me and all this other shit, and then that shit might come up. Like I'm, I'm downloading constantly, so, um, like we talking material. Like any anybody who talks to a comedian, that shit is funny most of the time. So if you get in podcast mode and stuff like that, that shit just make you quicker. And if you ever did radio, that shit make you real fast. But I also yeah. be having. You have some guaranteed shit in your back pocket just in case to do right. Yeah, play. you always got you always hey, got yeah, the silver yeah. bullets. Right, right, right. Hey, hold on, radio is a whole nother beast. Because I'm gonna tell radio. you, like I did radio in Detroit. Shout out to Hot 107.5. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, DJ right. BJ, J Hicks, uh, AP, uh, Stewie, the whole nine. But, um, like, bro, you telling jokes to the city and you can't hear nobody laughing, so you don't even know what's hitting. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then, mm. and then the next thing you know, nigga. Two hours later, your phone rang. Niggas like, yo, you had niggas. What the? You had niggas. <laughs> <laughs> niggas was wildin', son. So that, that, that teaches right. you to start trusting yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm, right. Yeah. You feel me? Like, nigga, that's like, that's like, that's like fucking a chick who don't moan. And then you get, <laughs> you get done and you about to go home. And she's like, don't ever leave me. You got to <laughs> that was a bad time. Like, wait, you what? You know my shit. You know what I'm saying? So, right. You feel me? <laughs> right. No, I definitely, I'm, I definitely am trying to do that more and just, you know, be less robotic on stage and stop trusting the shit that I know works and just start, you know, just trusting like, yeah, I'm fun. Let me just go up here and just be myself. I'm, I'm trying to bring me on stage more, so I always, you know, it's ask also, niggas that I respect the shit. Right. It's also repetition. You, you, cat been probably going up for thirty years, mm-hmm. maybe thirty. I'm just right. being, you know, generous, but like. Doing that shit over, cause he had grind years like we had grind years. This was years right. that you went up on stage every damn night for two years straight, or twice a night, or three times right. a night, or went on road. And, you right. know, right. like you was you 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 put your hours in, bro, and right. you trust what you know what you do. I'm here to be funny, motherfucker. It's I'm funny. I don't have to be funny. I am. Right. I'm just be. 
That's what he said too. That's slick what he said. That's slick what he said yeah. too, though. Yeah. He said, that. he said that he paid his dues already as far as going into the comedy clubs and stuff. Yeah, he's a right. goat, man. That's too, everybody ain't no LeBron either, too. So like a lot of niggas when Lil Wayne said he don't write shit down, then everybody said they don't write shit down. I'm like, right. some of y'all niggas need to write that shit down. Some of y'all, y'all can practice that shit. Honestly, Kanye, Kanye a terrible freestyler. Terrible. Yeah, Kanye's really bad at freestyling. Yeah. Watch how many. It's a lot of niggas like 85 South or three goddamn unicorns, nigga. Like that shit is crazy. wild. And they'll do two like, different shows. They'll do two different shows in the same night. Yeah, because they ain't writing none of them. Because that's the audience, different. because the audience is audience. their material. Yeah, the audience is material. They that's the way they do it. They Makes did sense. An hour special every Friday for five years. So hour special. Different material every Friday. Yeah, the Friday. audience is they uh is they material when you <laughs> do an improv. Right. Hey, Again, what y'all, what y'all do a rope means on the same level though. You yeah, know, we yeah, talked about yeah. it. We just talked about it earlier, B Lou. You know, right before we actually went live. Down, nigga, we ain't writing. Right, 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 y'all just going. Down. And you can't write none of that shit down. I mean, you can, but right, you, right. actually, you can. You can write it down, but within the moment of it, you exactly. it's hard to be like, oh, still got to execute. It's like you're trying to get to it. It's like, ah, 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 ah. like, nah, nigga, you better just and be also, ready. And also, if you, if your, if your audience fucking with you, it's a whole different level. It's that's why Craig, CP, Brent, and ba- and maybe uh, David Luger is one of the best roasters there is at roast me. You can't forget CP. I did say CP, not CP. Um, Patrick Cloud. He's good too. Right. Like Chappelle, niggas damn near come to worship at the foot of his garments to be, when they come see Chappelle. Like, niggas, right. get, if they say you got to turn in your social to see Chappelle, like, it was some niggas that were turning their goddamn social. Right. <laughs> so, you know, no right. matter what this nigga say, this nigga can read his phone for two hours. We don't get be up fuck. there with, and smoking cigarettes, and it's going to kill. I used to watch him. be hilarious. I used to watch him in my early days when he used to come to Laugh Factor and just smoke a cigarette and just start. Talking, bro, and just working shit out. Like that's that's how I like to work out in myself too. I mean, myself, I like to work out sort of like that. Just talk, be free on mm-hmm. stage. Uh, and at the same time, I like to work out per show. So, like, if I have a thought, I'm gonna work it out one show, and work out the second show, and work out the third show, and work out the fourth show, whatever. Like, right. That's what I feel. Like. See, that's what. That's but I, I don't write. I don't write full jokes. I just write topic. No, I write down jokes sometimes. I go back and write the shit down and I say it. Or I, like, I have somebody text it to me. You know, if it's some new shit, like, they just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was funny. You know, right. expound on that. But <laughs> you know I, also, I also record my sets, though. I record my sets video. And yeah, you I go back it. and watch them and then take shit out of it? Well, I just ba- I just started back doing that. And it, it helped me. It, it's helped me tremendously now. I got lazy. I used to do it during the open mic times. And then I got lazy, got confident, cocky, lazy, all in between. And then I just now went back. Hey, to CP, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. What's the what's the biggest uh, roast me mistake that motherfuckers make? I know I'm gonna ask you too, Brandon, but I just want to ask CP because this is what niggas niggas want to know what they be fucking up. Um, I mean, it's a couple. I probably the biggest one is you know when you get there, everybody be in the break room, everybody be in the parking lot, everybody cool, right? Your best bet is to kind of be cool. If you're trying to be standoffish, niggas going to notice that. You need to understand that you're a target. Thanks. You're new. You're just a target, bro. And take some solace in the fact that we were once all targets. Go back to the episode that I did where I told Brent he was a um, Sugar Ray Leonard baby pitcher. That was the very (laughs) first. (laughs) Good. Good. That was the that was the that was my very first episode, nigga. I came out swinging so hard because I just being a comedian, I know how niggas is, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I knew that niggas knew that I could roast, and I knew that niggas was gonna make me prove it. So I just came in and said, "Fuck it." That shit was like going to prison. I'm I'm coming in. I'm socking niggas. I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like nigga, I can't be. However you come in the classroom is how they gonna always remember you. CP, but then the other guy, go ahead, Bilo, give me the stop playing with me real quick. I just did it real quick. Go. Oh, man. I think that was episode two, and the guy keeps saying, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. <laughs> he got roasted. Oh, man, Billy destroyed him that episode. 
<laughs> My man came in with way too much heat, though. But, but hit, hold on. I need it real quick, B-Lo. Go ahead. Stop playing with me. <laughs> I just, I, yeah, because again, he came in with that type of energy, bro, and he uh he didn't last. He got he got he got I think that's what people do too. They'll come in and they just come in with the vendetta, like they'll just be real competent. Like, I'm gonna cook your ass and you too, yeah. and you too, and you. And it never goes that way. Like it, I, it, you just better off just coming in, dapping niggas up, and say, hey, let's have some fun. And because I think when niggas come in with the extra energy. Like I've been watching you, so now I'm gonna kick your ass. I think it never, it never translates the way that they think it is. I, I, I had fun, man. I, I had that was some of the most fun comedy time. Like that was fun <laughs> as hell. Like the 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 way in which the art that these niggas tore my ass up in was amazing. I, said, <laughs> I was I I called my mom and told her what Craig and CP said to me. I said, uh, "Man, not joke, man." CP said, "Um." Give me a number one or I can kill myself. That was funny. That was hilarious. <laughs> she was like, that's good. She was like, that's funny. I was like, yeah. But I think that, I think also too, um, niggas, niggas come in roasting to be mean. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. And it's like, it's like, nigga. That's comedy. You could, that's, it's different. Right? right, like you get nigga. All right, you come in this bitch and you roast my real friend real good. Then they got on your ass. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like nigga, be loot my friend. Only I can talk about. It. I get irritated with niggas that shit about his side. So I be like, nigga, don't talk about that nigga side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tell that nigga the nerve about? of you. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, a new nigga come in calling Doughboy fat. Like nigga, fuck you. That wasn't even. <laughs> you didn't even hurt my nigga feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, you got a thyroid you know, condition. <laughs> I told Doughboy. I told Joe boy he was so fat that they were talking about the nigga behind his back. By the time he turned around, you don't even feel that way no more. <laughs> that and that's creative. creative. It's cerebral. You think about it. It's it's funny. I'm telling you, I've been getting fat Ooh. jokes since I was two. But when I hear yeah, shit bro. like that, I'll be like, nigga, that's well my, thought my out. DMs, my DMs have been full of fat jokes since uh, DM came out. I'm like, don't you got some girls to go holler at me? No, the crazy <laughs> shit about that, niggas, niggas will hit me and, and try to joke on me and think that that's a way of bonding with me. Oh, like, yeah. they'll hit my DMs and roast me. I'll be like, nigga, say I, I hit a nigga back. I look at his real picture, but like, your son ugly and, and really put some thought into your joke next time, nigga. Like, <laughs> like, and, then, and then niggas be like, oh, man, I'm a fan. I didn't know you was going to respond, yeah, man. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas do that just for his attention. Niggas yeah. also niggas also think that you a bitch because you a comic. And so right. then it's it'd yep. be some whole other issues. I remember one time this nigga asked me uh what I charge for promo. And I was like, you know, I charge uh like whatever at the time it was like six hundred. And this nigga said, Man, shut the fuck up. You charge three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> I'm like, hey, niggas get it fucked up because it's jokes. They don't know you from Detroit. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, hey, nigga, hey, dog, don't play with me like that, dog. You know, say like, nigga, fuck you, nigga. I'm like, oh shit, bam, got to got to drop in locations. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, how did this escalate to this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I start screenshotting pictures of this nigga kid, and then this nigga made his plays blocked. I'm like, yeah, nigga, don't play with me. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga. Real. On, you can zoom in on a certificate. Oh, you go to that school, so that's probably where you be at at least one day. That nigga come out. Quit playing. Go, quit playing with real stop, niggas. Stop playing you know, with you know, me. You know, there it is. Hit it. Stop playing you know, with me. Stop playing with me. You know how I many niggas in the city just wanna be like, man, CP, I did that for you. It's like, nigga, chill. Chill. I'm not just even. Chill. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm just telling you what I charge. Right. Why you, why you wanna? You know what I'm saying? Because, it's like, bruh. Niggas, it's yeah, because we funny out. and we laugh and we make people laugh, so they get shit fucked up. Yeah. So see, you like that, just, my boy. You like that, my boy. Nigga from like Detroit that. City, nigga. Like That's the whole that. thing, though. Know, I'm not like that, but that made the <laughs> niggas who are like that around me even more like that because they know that nigga. Come on, dog. Facts. Yeah. You did that to a bug's life. A nigga told me that. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, oh. My, niggas, my niggas love me, nigga. They don't play about oh, me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, not even to mention, like, nigga, we ain't no, we ain't one of them crews that's calling each other bitch and doing all that bullshit. Like, nigga, nigga, niggas talk real generational wealth game, nigga. So, like, when you disrespect one of us, that hurt. It's just like, nigga, yeah. nigga, these, these, nigga, we trying to feed these kids. And 
Yeah. With roast me, you cannot take every joke, but they stay personal. You have to know it's still entertainment at the end of the day. They are still friends. So you get you have to have that mindset as though it's a business. It's just a business. And, and say if you're dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? And you want some like nigga, stop playing with me before I turn you to a song. Come on, man. Good plan. Good plan. I wasn't gonna do it. I don't want hey, I, I don't want no smoke whatsoever. I'm so smokeless. Like nigga, I'm just trying to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to be funny. Dude, that's all. Dude, tell me you charge that nigga. You ain't even got a hundred thousand followers. I said, well, damn. Yeah. <laughs> like, nigga, always some... Hey, they... hey, Ronnie, but I'm also not asking you to promote shit. Like, nigga, exactly. you don't. Now, this was a dude asking me about what I charge for a show, and right. I hit him with the real price. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. You not even. He started that shit I wasn't on. I'm like, you weren't even on roast me. I'm like, next season, bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> You got me fucked up, bitch. <laughs> Go watch Battlegrounds Atlanta. Fuck, boy. Like, <laughs> oh, fuck ass nigga. I was going to say that too, bitch ass nigga. Stop playing with me. Stop playing Stop with me. Stop with me. He roasted an exclamation point out there, nigga. <laughs> uh, I mean, are we go here. Are we go. You want to watch the clips? I mean, we're about to get into Notch. I mean, I think Notch. Of course, this is like, man, this, his first time on the show. I think he did well, though, man. He took these jokes. To the, he, he took these jokes. He did. I, I watched. Like a baby monster. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till he grow up. He's gonna be scary than a monster. We just got him. Ooh, he get back. He's gonna be sweet as hell. Nigga, you even, your shit ain't even braided. Your shit knitted, nigga. Fuck what? up. Your shit ain't braided. It's I'm knitted. I'm always watching you with that. Skin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I tell y'all something? Can I tell y'all something? Uh, like, uh, Nigga, when I first came out to Los Angeles, nigga, this was 2013. Um, Notch, the first nigga I met, bro. And this this nigga Notch called me when I was in Detroit back when I had the original Reggie Bow. Him and his crew, these niggas had, they got Reggie Bow chains made. They didn't even know me. They just was believing in that nigga so much. Brought me out here. These niggas had me in the studio showing me around and shit. I, I got mad love for Notch. You know what I'm saying? Solid but, nigga. Yeah, but that nigga look like he look like a he look like a mistake in the face. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought like, oh, it was. A- oh, who did this one? Who did this one? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was a clip of Orange Is the New Black. Goddamn, I was like, who that? that nigga Nas look like it was somebody in heaven. First day making people. I, t- I put the, I put the ears on it. <laughs> Not the ears. I messed up the face. I messed up the face. Nah, I was like, yeah. I'm gonna show you again. Send that one down. I'm gonna show you again. You got a real, real, you got a real booties look to him. Hey, you guys. Yeah, my nigga K Dub too. K Dub looked like uh, guy was doing a lip tutorial. Now this, this now see. Now you don't want to go too dark. You see what? See what? <laughs> hold this little baby up right here. See this little baby right here. Oh yeah! Oh damn! Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we got another clip Ooh. right here. Let's see. Who we, I don't even know what this one is. Let's see what happens here. Hold on. Hey, hey, move, hey, move. First you ball it in the beat, then you put a piece of meat, then you shove it in the butt. Not David Lucas had a butt. Star boy short can't sweet potato pie. <laughs> baby back ribs, foot full of fries, <laughs> apple turnover, blueberry pie. Not David Lucas is ready. The song. Honestly, are the only thing that has saved Boo this season, in my opinion. Um, he had some good jokes here and there, but the song's really saving him right now. The ride. How do you rebuttal that? Like he's just how do you even come back from that? David Lucas is a professional, first of all. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like he I think he, he was like uh where's where's David Lucas from? Macon, Georgia? He's from Macon, Macon Georgia. Georgia. Macon, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh he they they said he was like uh he was that nigga was like an athlete. They said he had the biggest titties in twelfth grade. Uh, <laughs> He won the wet t-shirt contest. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That nigga was, they said he was a stallion for real. You know, they nigga, (laughs) Uncle Luca come on, nigga, and the whole dance floor started shaking. (laughs) (laughs) They be like, fat keep coming, fat keep coming, fat keep coming. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, 
These niggas gonna kill oh. me on this next episode. Fuck oh yeah, that. it's gonna be lit. Oh, oh my hey, god. Hey, hold on, hold on, Dope Boy, stop picking that little shit. <laughs> 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 nigga picking it down. Nigga, you giving me anxiety, man. Yeah. Shit. My shit growing, man. I'm getting oh, it, man. man. You gotta oh. leave it alone, nigga. You oh, picking it down. Man. <laughs> I'm trying to let that over. motherfucker breathe, man. Hey, look at Boo. Boo like, Boo like a nigga finna beat him up. Hold on, kid. I ain't say that. <laughs> I wasn't Hold going on, to let me off. Let me explain, nigga. Let me explain. Let me explain. Hey, man. Hey, you be having a good ass time, dog. It was crazy. Like, the energy yeah. was a little weird. Early on, getting back to the class, yeah, right? But now it's like, nigga, that shit. Oh yeah, it's rolling now. Right back. It's it, it just it really took for us to get more comfortable in there, bro. That shit just yeah. feel yeah. great, man. It's free flowing. All right, here we got another clip right here. I think it's about Boo again. What's what Boo just did this time? They said you can cry out your side too. A tea, a tea. <laughs> a tea, a tea. Nigga, look at the Air Force Ones, though. Air Force Five. Oh, my God. I wish they'd have zoomed in, because them was not Force One. Them was not Force One. Hey, hold on, son. That nigga said, a tea. <laughs> hey, this nigga Boo, dog. Uh, Boo is on a different level. People don't understand. In my opinion, and I, I I read this comment in my comment section before, Boo is really a battlegrounds um, roaster. He's more of a one-on-one -on -one type of roaster. If, if you go back and watch the episodes, you will notice that Boo basically destroyed Craig. He destroyed CP. He destroyed um, Doughboy, more. He destroyed everyone. It's, it's just like... When you're in the classroom, it's a different dynamic. You're you're dealing with everyone in the classroom, you know. So yeah, that's probably the reason why most of Boo's jokes don't really land. But um, in that one-on-one -on -one section where you have to roast somebody in front of you, Boo is going to win. And like how hilarious Boo is because they trying to. He's not trying to do the cerebral jokes. Like, right. this nigga is funny in a different way. Right. Oh, yeah. He got, like, sitcom humor. Right. right. It's delivery. It's always delivery for Boo. It's delivery, yeah. bro. Because like, there's I'm no way. Some people would not make these jokes work. But because Boo says right. it, it works. If I had to pick an MVP so far, I'm going with Brent. Because he's probably been the most consistent. Facts. Um, he hasn't but, been uh, sent to detention yet this whole season. Yeah. But, but... But Boo is just the most improved. Uh, yeah. I mean, just 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 Boo is just must see TV. But yeah. I think that I think that it's time for Brent to step up and take his place. It's like it's time for him to get the MVP. Remember, remember when like Russ didn't have an MVP or KD mm -hmm. didn't have an MVP, and right. you know it was Bron, it was other niggas. But it's like nigga, bro, like you know. Fuck, I agree. It's time for Brent to step up and take the MVP. For roast me. Mm, I like that. I like that. I like that. Brent totally deserve it. You know. Brent is hilarious. Dang, this nigga's putting up Dame Dollar numbers. He's wildly consistent. And he be right. having jokes for everybody. He don't spare nobody. Nope. Yeah. Craig, Craig, I, think, I think it's like Craig been getting busy this season too though. It's been a, and you. So that's what I'm saying. It's. Everybody's shooting at a high yeah, percentage. Yeah, I think I, I think that from you know I'm I'm not where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm not as free as I used to be. It's some shit I just can't say because like, y'all ain't finna fuck my bag up. So it's like, <laughs> you know, like, you know <laughs> it's too good over here. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, um, you know I just you know it's just I be like, damn, I, I'm leaving a lot of shit on the floor, man. I'm talking, I'm saying a lot of. You know what I'm saying? You know, but, you know, it is what it is, man. Like, uh, you know. Okay, nigga. okay, nigga, shut your mouth. You the round the bush ass nigga, we know. Nigga. You know, uh, you know, you still can't. You know, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 u
right. We, we, we got another one. I think Boo coming right back in with some more fire. Here we go. Stevie J! Stevie J! Y'all get up for Ben Zeno, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Just right out the bricks. Oh, nigga. Day. <laughs> nigga, they didn't, he didn't even close the door behind him. He didn't. He got, <laughs> got hit. <laughs> Should be walked in, got punched right in his goddamn face. Right in the mouth. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> All right. Here comes Brent again with another one. And Brent, you're in a bike club, a motorcycle club, but y'all ride bikes. You sleep with, <laughs> you sleep with your feet up. <laughs> Hey, cuz, I'm gonna be there in a second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 for like real. Brent coming out, like, look, dog, like, I ain't, I ain't won no MVP yet. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that nigga, man, I'm telling you, we ain't seen Brody. Brent got on Brody. We ain't seen Brody since. Brody be like, uh, I'm busy again. Like, yeah, nigga, uh -uh. ain't busy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got another clip right here. Let's see what we got. Copy, copy, copy. Copy. Okay, boy, copy. boy, and Brent, you only good for going under the car against us. Oh, good. Okay. Because, and, and Brent can take a good joke too. He that's, can. That's, that's what niggas don't understand. It's not just delivering a joke; it's being able to take one. That nigga takes jokes very well too. Right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, don't sip your water bottle like that after he take jokes well as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was poorly tied. It was poorly First of all, <laughs> shout out to that big ass uh, uh, prohibition ass canner you got of full Nigga. of icing. What's in that? <laughs> 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 I took a gallon of water a day, man. A gallon yeah, a day. I drink, I drink me an ice cold <laughs> cup of icing and I'm ready to <laughs> 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 I think you're drinking cocoa, goddamn. <laughs> Drink me an ice cold cup of nuts. <laughs> All right. Let's go with the next clip. I think Craig about to get some. It's a Walker, Texas Uber driver, man. Right. Hey, hey, this nigga be eating niggas' leftovers in the food court. I know you gonna eat them. Hey, when Craig fold his arms, he think he a movable force. <laughs> get through me now. Touch me, Z. So far, I must say, Tut Weezy is really, really, really. <coughs> God damn. <coughs> Corona, wow. What I was going to say is that <coughs> I don't know where that came from. <coughs> Woo. Man, oh man. What I was going to say before I got interrupted by that COVID, what I was going to say is that, uh, I'm just kidding, I don't have COVID. But what I was going to say is that Todd Weezy is really, really underrated thus far. I must say all of his jokes have hit, and he's really funny. He slept on in, in the roast me community. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta rub on a Samsung and Craig will pop out. Hey. Craig look like a pimple on Corey Holcomb. This nigga got. <laughs> hey, 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 Billy, how many more rides? He's got five more days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Craig was born to do stucco. <laughs> <laughs> he got some gal Street Fighter pants on. <laughs> Son of boom. Son of boom. Son of boom. He's over here dressed like Brandy. He's one of the damn that's it right there for that clip. Oh, yeah, yeah, Craig, yeah, Craig had to get roasted too, man. You know, oh, yeah, y'all yeah, don't spend no nobody is safe. Is. Nobody is safe, man. Boy. Boy. My nigga, tell Weezy, boy, that nigga got the marble shooters on his face. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Pow, pow, pow. Put the goddamn nails down, sir. That's enough. <laughs> no, how many people have to die today for you to quit, sir? Stop. We got a nigga here with a double barrel nose. He's in here going crazy. Sorry, guys. Got cocked and loaded. All right, let's go. Boom, boom. We got another clip here. All right, this is when Brett C.P. 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 Hey, what's up, hey, C.P. is here to close the gap. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. uh, <laughs> Solid. Off the rip. Solid. Oh, off the rip, man. I mean, it's oh. rip, bro. That nigga, that nigga, fuck around. I don't even look that nigga in the eye. He be like, what's gapping? I be like, man, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How can 
nigga that little. You don't even you don't even want to roast the nigga littleness. You be like, all right, man, go on, man. God damn, <laughs> well, I fill up a Tylenol cup and commit a suicide on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The last clip right here. Last clip right here, fellas. And we might get into some topics. We got enough time. We might get into a few topics. But again, y'all just had a very good conversation about just dropping knowledge about the game with comedians. And I feel like everyone appreciated appreciate that in the chat. So I just let y'all go ahead and do that. You think uh, it's Billy, uh, Boogie looked like Whitney Houston father. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta always sing. I gotta always could sing now. I gotta always could sing. That nigga look like Lynn Bias, goddamn. <laughs> oh, oh, he. Poor Bias, man. Damn, Lynn Bias. Lynn Bias, all right. Pray man. for his own toy cars. <laughs> hey, 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 that was that was a clear rope of dope situation. Oh yeah, crew re- rebuttal like, with that. He, like, so you, so you, so you got to understand. So a nigga that thinks is gonna, if he know that you're gonna keep coming with how many rides, how many rides, how many rides, pretty soon he waiting for the next one. And oh, B. Lou walked that nigga right into it. That's like when you walk one of them little calves down to the edge of the. Oh yeah, the you know what it is. It's that last yeah. walk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> well, fellas, that was all the clips we have. I mean, again, a solid episode all the way through. If you have not watched it, of course, it's here on Caffeine right now. This is Season 5, Episode 4. Uh, season 5, Episode 5 will be next week, next Wednesday. So y'all can, you know, get prepared for that one. Uh, we get, Y'all drop us some topics? How much time we got? Yeah, how much time we got? How much time we got? We got, we got 10 minutes. minutes. We got about 10 we minutes. Got. Y'all, we can drop us a few topics. Yeah. Uh, I think we can start here. We can start with JT. JT and the uh the, the malfunction, the wardrobe malfunction. We already got the video right. So we might as well just watch it. Y'all ready? That thing look, that thing look nice. I ain't see it. I ain't see it. I ain't see it. Let me get it again. Now no get get the billboard. Basically, what they are showing is a malfunction that happened, but because of copyright, I would love to skip this part. If you want to find this, you can search it up online. It's there. She had a malfunction and everything, and you could have seen her, you know what? But, um, yeah. Situation, oh, man. Why you put your brown? That ain't funny, your brown. That's a game piece from the board game. Sorry. This nigga look like Wesley Snipes and Blade. Facts. That nigga look like a Godfrey action figure. So what about it, though? Is a nigga, he fucking with Keisha Cole? No, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. If you... What happened was Ke- Keisha Cole ended up getting a tattoo, A.B. tatted on her, Here, his initials, because they thought they were really rocking with each other. And as you see, A.B.'s response is, You ain't pimping until you hit an R&B chick. Wow. That's, that's whack, true, though, my nigga. Super whack. Yeah, yeah that's... Keisha Cole fine, like it, though, man. How do Keisha Cole keep falling for niggas like that? Keisha Cole fine. I, I, I just feel like it's fucked up if you have a chick get your name tattooed on her and then you diss her publicly on the gram like you ain't got a wife you ain't got a wiper no he no he ended up talking some shit later on like uh like he said some shit later to basically be like nah it ain't like that yeah, yeah like, like i, I really rock with her like that type of thing i don't really rock with her type energy you know, yeah. like, got your whole name tattoo with your whole initials protect black women y'all okay bash nigga, all the black women y'all act like <laughs> that initials is a government name that could be any ab nigga Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> There's only one AP mm, in, 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 in this one field. AP, my nigga. Oh. Only one. Hey, on that hey, level, hey. level, CP. There's only one. She's vulnerable though. For her, and for her, and for her and why, why this nigga for that short range of time, and then she tapped that nigga on her, bro. Yeah. She is uh, she a little thrown off. I remember yeah. I said, hey, why, why post that? Bro? At Starbucks, nigga. She little as hell. Hey, in the chat, they said Adrian Broner. You're not wrong. Adrian Broner also <laughs> catches AB. That's that's true. Nigga, but, Anthony, Anthony Belcher, this could be me. It could be no <laughs> boy. It could be me. It's my initials, nigga. <laughs> but, why, yeah. but why they got to go on social media with it, though? It's yeah. Just, it's, yeah. It's, it's yeah. always sucker shit. It's always talking with AB, that. too, though, man. It's always talking with AB. Always. Yeah. I, I like. I really don't like talking about this dude too much. You know what I mean? Like he, he did all this to go jump. He did all this to go jump on a yacht with Floyd and make a TikTok. I'm like, boy, if y'all don't chill out, <laughs> that and now he's trying to retire as a Steeler, which he don't even deserve. Honestly, he don't deserve to come. He don't deserve to go back. He still they, never even got they, the. He didn't even get the surgery. No, no, no. no AB. He, he AB's he trying to retire. retire. At, no, 
He's trying to no, he said he don't want to play for the Steelers, but he wants like to retire as a Steeler. Like on a he wants a jersey game. hung up, the whole thing. He wants the whole parade, but you don't deserve it. What did he win? Did he win a Super Bowl? No, no, they did win a Super Bowl. I think I won, but the way he went out, I think so. He won a Super Bowl, man. They won one. Yeah, they won one. Yeah, he won one. He won one, man. Yes. Now we're now with Tampa Bay though. Now with Tampa Bay, I think he has two. Let me confirm, weeks. but let me confirm, CP. But I think he has two. He has two. Confirm. He won, I think it was twenty fifteen. Was, 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 was it against the Cardinals? Was it against the Cardinals? Against the Cardinals, yes. Yeah. Ab got a, Ab got two rings, man. Don't play with him. Oh, he's great. He was a great football player. Don't but the weight, no, but the weight. It was no, very. He was very year. young. He was very, very early, uh, early in his career. Let me go ahead and confirm that. But though. I think the the way that he left the Steelers was so fucked up. Yeah. Why would they want to bring him back? Nah, oh, I think I, I think he didn't get one with them. He, I think we're thinking of uh, Emmanuel Sanders that got, that had that ball. They had that catch. Well, he, yeah. got, well, he got one ring though. He, got he did one get ring. one ring with uh with the with the uh with the, with the Buccaneers. Yeah, he got one with Brady, but I don't think he's going to get another Super Bowl. To be honest, he really messed up his chances in the NFL. He, he had too many chances, and he he screwed it up. To be honest. Right, please stop but that. he does—he does hold a lot of their records for receiving. Oh yeah, he's got one. Yep. He holds yeah, a, lot he a lot of their records for being an asshole too. True. Absolutely. I wouldn't bring him back. He's a fucking nah. No, you can't bring this guy back, man. Like you can't keep him from attention. Hey, man, him. If you got a ring, maybe. Nah. Hey, right. hey, let me ask y'all a question. Hold on. Did y'all watch Kyrie's interview? He. I, I watched the whole thing. No, no, no. I'm about to watch it today. He's fucking delusional. He's fucking delusional. Kyrie delusional. Yes, we can bring, he's we can bring, up, we can bring up next week. Nah, I'm gonna bring up next week. Nah, because he's like trying to backpedal all that shit about LeBron and shit. Say he really didn't have an issue with it and saying that the media. No, nigga, that was you, nigga. You been the issue. You went to Boston. You bailed on them. You yeah. went to Brooklyn, nigga. You you're a halftime player. You're flaky as hell. Oh, man, I, I'm not. A, I'm not a huge Kyrie fan. You know what? You know what? My problem is, is that I am a huge Kyrie fan, and it really Sorry. hurts to watch him swan like squander everything like this, bro. Like, yeah. um, what you mean though? What y'all you know, mean though, bro? Because he nigga, he, he fucks up franchises. Basketball, bro. Yeah, hey, exactly. Bro, like, you miss all them games. Okay, I get it. The vaccine that that's a very important decision. Yeah. That's different than anything else. But it's like right? you know, you oh, stay oh, in wait, the media. Wait, wait, wait. So, you, but you got to stop right there. He missed the games because of the vaccine. No, he missed it because no, 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 no. He not the, the year only before NBA that wasn't vaccinated, and they let a lot of other players. It was his visibility and the way that he went no. about doing the yeah. media thing. It was yeah. him saying, "I finally got a teammate that can hit a shot." Mm. It was yeah. him. Kyrie did it to himself. To be honest, I don't care what nobody say. I think Kevin Durant is really regretting his decision to join up with Kyrie. I I think. Because of that, I am not sure if Kevin Durant is going to win another ring at this time. He can if they trade Kyrie, but as it, as it is right now, pertaining to Kyrie, I don't think they are going to win because of all the reasons that they give. They need to improve their def defense and improve their offense a bit because it's just ISO. Stuff. I mean, I saw Kyrie and KD, so they need to do something about that. It's like, bro. And, like, and not even that, B-Lou. So, don't cut you off, TP, but not even oh. that. The year before, B-Lou, is when he uh, literally took half of the year off just to get mental health. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, this is not, this is not the first time that he just cut out for a year. You know what I mean? Hold on, hold on. Now, now, let me Go ask y'all two questions. First and foremost, this new generation... Let's let's say, and that is Kyrie's. He, Kyrie's he's way younger than us. He may look older, or he may be thinking we older. He's still, I think, Kyrie might not even hit thirty yet. He is in the language, generation like of. But look, he's in the he's in the generation of a fragile mindset. This this generation's mindset is extremely fragile as far as mental health. Mental health plays a huge huge part in this generation's yeah, uh, right. life, okay. livelihood. Right. How they how they can. Fox. Mental health and depression plays a big part in our generation now because we don't really know how to express our feelings, our thoughts, to even 
talk about certain things because we feel like we're going to be judged and persons are not going to easily understand where we're coming from. So we tend to keep it all inside, but that's not really good because sooner or later we are going to break down and we are going to basically have a mental breakdown and it's going to affect us and the persons around us. So I do think talking to somebody that you trust and that you really, really feel comfortable with to tell your issues with, you know? I think that's what Kyrie need and a lot of us. How they pr pursue, how they push through in life. Their, their mindset is extremely fragile compared to the old days. Even though you can say the old times, old people or the older generation put up with stuff that they, that they didn't have to, quote unquote, but their mindsets were way stronger than today's generation. That's number one. Number two, that, so that's why he did sit up for those games. So you got to get that because that encouraged niggas with mental health to be like, oh, I can stand up for myself. Number two, he set out for the, he set out for the vac uh, vaccination, which a lot of people who stood up for themselves were against it. So that, that gave more courage and, and uh, you know, inspiration to niggas who was like, oh shit, but you yeah. can stand for what you want and still get what you uh, deserve because he's still... Be Came back and played and got no, back. But, you're, but you're missing other things though. When they was in the bubble, he didn't want to go play in the bubble and he was trying to tell other niggas don't play oh, in no. the bubble. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he left LeBron to go to Boston, and then he shitted on all the young players. He said he was gonna stay, then he fucking left. So that's right. what he I, I think he, that's he, what he CP is saying. Also, the arena and he got also, also, the line. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Ronnie. Go ahead, Ronnie. Also, also though boy, the bubble was during the national pandemic when the whole country was didn't know what the fuck was going on. True. And niggas didn't know, and you can't you can't fault a nigga for thinking the end of the he, world. I mean, here's my problem. Earth is, here's my problem. Is flat anyway. yeah, he you was, but he was hurt, and he was telling niggas that was healthy. I mean, if anything, it gave us an escape from what was going on. Like I could at least watch Bruh, a fucking basketball. Was, I, niggas was hunkering down with their families. What are you talking about? He gave a right. fuck about basketball at that point. Right. I, when so, it, hey, you think the world is yeah. ending, you know what I'm saying? Ronnie, I hundred percent right on that. I get that. But and, my, my and only... also, it could be mental health for real. Like he might be need this. He needs some help. I just crazy. think that he'd be looking for every reason to not play basketball. What about after he was hurt the, the year before last, and then he came back two weeks after he came back? He was like, "I need to break because of mental health." And then they seen him in a club partying with his sisters. And here, and here's my thing also with this: they, the, the, Nets had, the Nets had to continue to pay him during this time. You know what I mean? <laughs> Naomi Osaka is another person who brought up the mental health thing. She did not want to play tennis. She literally oh, legit hit. No. And she took money out of her own pocket for not playing. Oh, the no. Nets have to continue to pay this man while he sat at home. Like, that's crazy to me. That's whole shit, bro. Hold on. What? I'm not hearing what? one thing, Look, I'm not hearing one thing though. Tennis and basketball on. players are under two different regimes. A basketball player and a contract. They get paid millions. Of You're right. It's based upon the... Uh, so, right now. Okay. Hold on. Go ahead, Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I agree with that. He's a lot younger than money is, is the fact that he's not, they don't, they're not playing him, but they're not playing against him either. And that's why you pay a nigga, just to be honest. Just, just, just know that. Like, that's true. Anything, that's right? true. That? That's, that's true. Also, that. also, you taught KD into leaving Golden State uh, whew, to come have his own thing. Like, dog, you don't have the, you're not, your legacy of being the best in the world is out the door already, Kyrie. You're not on that level. Ever. Like niggas it. don't have time Ever. to be. He ain't the what? No. Kyrie is he, still, is he Kyrie the most Irvin skilled still, player? Kyrie Irving is still top seven. If he will play, if he will, if he will fucking will. play, if he'll oh, play. We talk about we 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 talk about top two, three niggas. We talk about LeBron, mm -hmm. Kevin Durant, yeah. and Giannis. Giannis. Now. Giannis. 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 That's it. He's not yeah, one no. of them. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. People gotta start putting Steph in that category. I'm a LeBron fan, and I realize that it has to be LeBron, Giannis, KD, or even LeBron, Giannis, Steph, and KD, or LeBron, Steph, KD, Giannis, because um, Steph is the only person I, I could consider really reliable in terms of performance and the playoffs and in the final. Because we all could we all could say that hey Kevin Durant needed Steph to win, which is correct. He needed Steph to win. But Steph you can't say that, that Steph needed KD because Steph 
won with OKD and Steph is in the finals with OKD on the verge of winning another championship. So what that say about Steph, you know? So people need to revisit this conversation on the top five current players in the league as of late. They need to do that. He'll never be one of them. He's not a That's leader. Very, He's a on, terrible hold on, hold leader. On. Hold on, let's dial it back, man. Let's dial it back. Let's dial it back. Because Giannis wasn't even at his full power yet. It was it was KD, LeBron, and Steph. True. Steph, Steph, Steph was up there was, in the running for a little bit. Steph True. Was the nigga in your position. Yeah. You're not the nigga in your you're not arguably the nigga in your position. Yep. Like only to a fool who want to argue that. So let me get this straight. You talk this man, all the backdoor talks, the backroom mm -hmm. talks, you talk him into leaving a guaranteed ring for the next however many years. A dynasty. To come start a dynasty with you, and then you bail. Yes. Because of what you believe. Meanwhile, this man didn't got vaxxed. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, bro. Katie's trying to hold that shit together. He's trying to hold the shit together, he to hold the shit together by himself. Katie and it sucks. No, no. Who, who, who does Katie have chemistry and with? That's the, and that's the reason why Harden left, because he didn't want to deal with his shit. Nobody wants to deal with this nigga. He be Harden doing too much. Harden is obviously on a decline. Will well, you not sweet that. like that? Being around somebody like Kyrie is like being around Kobe. I don't you understand know, what I'm, I'm saying? I'm like, right, Harden was, was he's not, he's really not that good anymore, bro. Oh, I, I was there. I, I was so there in Brooklyn. Podcast. In Brooklyn, game five. Yeah, I'm watching podcast game too, five. and we can run, we can run back this topic next week as well. I think, take, of course, we'll be we'll probably be in a lot more basketball mood. The finals, the uh, Eastern and Western Conference finals are starting. Uh, I think we can probably finish on this topic real quick. It's uh, Kendrick Album. Kendrick Album. Yes. Stop no. Playing with me before I put you on a song. Hold on, listen. Kendrick Album. Okay, hold on. We Kendrick album, man, I really liked it. I like the spirits, the spirit song. Oh my goodness, I love it, I love it. And I love that song inside the car. Oh my goodness, when you play that song, you can actually feel it. The production and everything, everyone who had their hands on this masterpiece did an excellent job. Pharrell needs more praise. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go in order as it, as, okay. it, as it pertains to the screen. It, it go me, go, go ahead, Blue. No boy, and then Ronnie. So, okay. my thought on the Kendrick album is initially it's just too much, it's too serious. It's it's like I'm decoding, it's like I gotta pull out a notepad in the history book. I gotta, <laughs> you know, every lyric, I gotta, I gotta flip a page and be like, oh, that's what he meant. Oh, that's what he meant. Oh. Oh, and that's why God oh. took your side too, right there. God was like, you know what? He didn't have good taste in music, so I'm gonna take his music too. <laughs> you know, you Not the music too. You don't have one tooth for your music too. case. The music hey, too. But listen, he lost his music too. Carson was like, he lost his music too. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, dang. Oh, oh, it's like too much decoding. I don't want to. I don't want a brain fart. I don't want to have a brain freeze, a mental lapse the whole time. Now, don't get me wrong, the nigga is lyrical. But it's like, I could get my wokeness consciousness from other avenues, but I do commend him. He, he he did, you know, he speaks about a lot of things and, you know, he's woke and he's all this, he's the martyr, all that, yabba, yabba, yabba. <laughs> That's a yabba. <laughs> CP? CP? Go ahead. I can't disagree any more. You understand that every artist is not a star. I was telling my wife this this morning. We we talking about how well I ain't gonna say the nigga name because there's another artist who's just not a star, right? And I think about what does star mean? That means to be able to sell the art repeatedly. That's how you become a star. You sell the art repeatedly, like bro. Kendrick has his own style. Kendrick has his own rhyme pocket. He ain't talking in no Jamaican accent. He not changing up his style every five, six times. He not. See, he just take a shot at Drake because we all know Drake is a culture vulture. He always switch it up. He's not really true to himself, but you cannot really blame Drake. I like Drake's songs. But I understand where our CP is coming from. If you're always portraying to have different accents, it will come off as corny, you know? But you cannot fault Drake because Drake is really he's more of a pop of a pop star because I don't consider Drake as a rap a rapper. 
or a singer. He just reached a level like um, the Beatles. He's like a pop star. He not on there crying about no chick he can't. Like, bro, this is grown man rap, bro. This nigga is taking it back to the nigga's not a kid. And the nigga, people expect him to be a kid and be this immature nigga running around like Future. I like Future's music, right? But it's irresponsible. It's not really, there's not really a lot of substance in anything Future is saying for real. And so it's like, I can't not give that the same listen that I would give to um, an album like like some, some Future shit. Like, I have to listen to what this nigga's saying for how he intended the art to be looked at. You know what, what Bilu is doing? Imagine if a nigga made a 3D movie and then you went and saw it, but didn't put the glasses on and then said it was whack. No, no, I didn't say it was whack. No, I didn't say it was whack. I did not say it was whack. I didn't say it was whack. I didn't say it was whack. I didn't say it was whack. Look, I said I didn't want to brain freeze. I don't want to brain fart. I don't want to be overthinking while I'm driving or I'm enjoying. Be the one to escape. I don't want to be decoding shit, nigga. I get it. Okay. I get it. I get it. I, I okay. I, I had a different take on it. So I, I know it's too. Yeah. I know it's too early because it's a very very new piece of 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 art. I would side more towards what B. Lou is saying, just because sometimes I I don't and you know I'd actually be rapping. CP, you be rapping too. Like sometimes I just want to listen to some shit. Sometimes I feel like he's so far advanced. He's so good. It's almost like Nick. I'm gonna need a minute to 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 kind of hear this out. But since you said. You can't compare him to other people. Just compare him to himself. I don't think this is better than Good Kid, Mad City on the on the first couple of listens. I don't think it's better than To Pimp a Butterfly. I don't think it's better than Damn. You see but, what I'm saying? But, but wait a so, minute. so you can only compare his work to his work. And so far, I'm like, this is probably at the bottom of the list of his it's, stuff. No, boy. It's been seven agree? days. Seven, seven days. I know. I said it's early. I said it's, I know it's early, but on the oh, first boy. initial listen, I can't put it over any of those. No, boy. Go back in time with me, right? Okay. Okay. It's hold years on, hold ago. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got to get the run. We got to get the run. Then we, then we go back to that. All right. I'll, I'll oh, talk about it real quick. I'll put a vote in the chat. Kendrick, yes. Kendrick, no. Uh, see, see, what, see what the chat has to say. So we got a vote running right now in the chat. So appreciate y'all in the chat voting. Uh, Go ahead. Go ahead, Ronnie. No, it's it's, it's adult rap. It's grown up man shit. It's like you got to. I, I haven't listened to the whole thing all the way through, but I listen mm -hmm. to it piece by piece. And I like it. And it's like, oh, thank God. Everybody been sliding on the ops and shooting niggas for two years. We heard all the other shit. Let me, it's, it's him. Kendrick is him. And that's what it is. It's like, this, he, he's not on nobody's level. He's doing his own wavelength. He's telling you about his mental health shit he's going through, his sex addiction. Yeah. Shit we didn't know about him that keeps getting revealed. Because his second child. Gone. His second child. Yeah. He got another baby. We never seen his wife before. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, okay. He been. He ain't had no phone for a, few, a little while. He had to get his mind together. Like, a lot of us need to do that shit, dog. Like, this shit is a blueprint for niggas to do better as they get older. Yeah. Because if, if, cause you ever see a dude walking around 43 with them goddamn city trends, sweatpants with the zippers and shit on, you like, 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 you like, 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 I do agree, and I do encourage everybody in their lifetime to just stay away from social media, even if you get a block it. Or do something, put it away, because sometimes you can get so saturated of what is happening on social media. Even your parents, you you can get caught up in comparing your parents to yourself and your lifestyle, and you, you can become depressed because you feel as though your life is not where it needs to be at your age. Sometimes we really, really, we really need to take a step back and just focus on ourselves. And just focus on what we can do to better ourselves, you know, for the future. Because sometimes if we do that, we can become better. That's my opinion. So um, I agree with that. I need to try that myself. Jim Jones, like Jim Jones. Jim Jones be looking ridiculous. No, I'm talking about like the cheap. <laughs> I'm talking about with a lot of zippers and dumb shit on joggers. You be like, bro, why you got a Paw Patrol sweatsuit on? And you Not the Paw. You know? Yeah, it's... it's <laughs> We gotta grow up a little bit, man. But it's time for it's time. It's a time for future now. Pepper Wings and Magic City future never sounds so better. I'm gonna just tell you that. Thanks. But right. this shit is I, riding out of town. Shit. I like it. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I don't dislike it. I just was like, it's it's really heavy. 
It's probably going to take at least two, three months to really get into all the pockets. It's Some of the songs, it damn near felt like sped up spoken word. I was like, this doesn't even feel like rap. He's more of an artist now. I feel like he's evolving into something different, just, almost it, almost it, to where Three Stacks went on his solo listen, you know, album. Li- listen to the song Rip yeah. Spirit. And he says it. He said, I'm not even a rapper. That's the song I like, Rich Spirit, yes. That is awesome. You need to listen to that in your car. Oh my goodness. That is off the chain. He's like a, I'm a, a entity. Like, bro, understand, dog. Like, I just, I relate to Kendrick so much because of the way that I construct my jokes is how I feel like he's doing the rap. Like, it's some shit that I said. You got to go back and listen to what I'm really saying to really understand. And I wrote it that way. Or I designed it that way. Whatever you want to call it. When I created it, it was created to be that way. Like, I don't, you know, when I roast, I'm roasting from a beautiful story, like how we all have different roasting styles. Like for me to make up that story about Brody or the story about you behind your back and all of that, it's like, I got a different pen. And so when I see a nigga in another. Yes, I agree too, because when when CP tells us jokes, you actually can picture it. Hey, mind Craig have that unique style where you can actually picture the joke. And sometimes it hits, and sometimes it just doesn't, you know? Or it's gross or something like that. You can actually feel it. The realm of art with a different pen, it's like, bruh. Yeah, but some but niggas is dream, and some niggas is, some niggas is dream, and some niggas is baby face. Yeah, this nigga is it's dominant, spectrum. bro. It's a spectrum. I'm you like, don't want to smoke with this nigga. No, but I liked it. Like, trust me, and I listened to, you know, the whole thing. And, like, even, like, the Father Time record, like, I relate to a lot of that shit. But but to to, to be Lou's point, there is a part of me that just does love a little simpler rhyme style. Like, it's, I want to rap along with days. you. I know. It's been out three days. I know. It's, it's, it's going to take some time. It's going to take, it some, time. Yeah, it takes it's, some time to build it. It's going right. to take some time to figure this out. But right. this is too soon to critique any album anyway. Like, if you think this is the music. Yeah, we live in a microwave society. We shouldn't even be Can at the point where we're saying it yet. But since we have to give an opinion, I just don't think it's better than any of his other albums. Yeah. Part of the listens that I've had yet. Yeah. Now, if oh, I keep listening oh, to it, are you really putting this over Good, good Kid, Mad City? Bro, Bro. listen to me. Listen it's to just me. early. Listen it's me. early, though. It's early. Listen to me. Listen to me. The Snickers that you have 30 seconds before you went on the air, <laughs> is that going to be as good as the one you had when you were three months old and had your first one? No. <laughs> It's, it's it like, does. bro, that was your first Snickers, man. Nugget, nugget, <laughs> caramel, chocolate. You not were the in nougat. Not the nougat. Not the nougat. <laughs> now, that you're on, now that you're on Snickers 9 billion, you understand how you starting to be able to take Snickers for granted? Sometimes you want a regular candy bar, like a crunch, something less complex. You know what I'm saying? Even <laughs> even, even, even some, 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 some mushed up chocolate. Like a pudding. Sometimes you want pudding, man. You don't want to chew. With the vein. You don't want to chew, man. A pudding. Sometimes you want a pudding with a straw. You want a pudding with a straw. Be loose. And that's, and that's, and that's for another episode. That's for another episode it. of Rose This, man. Sick Before we get out of here, man, you know what we do. We let you know what we got going on every week so you can pull up on us in person. Give us a hug, buy us some merch, do all that good stuff. With that being said, Ronnie Jordan, let the people know, man. Anyway, y'all always can check me out on More Than Culture Podcast. It's backslash More Than Culture on YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel, uh, backslash Ronnie Jordan. Official Blessed AF is the website. You can get your official Blessed AF merch. For, don't get the bootleg shit. Don't get the shit from your aunt with the glitter on it. That shit terrible. Uh, <laughs> that's it, man. Ronnie Jordan. I thank y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Another big rest in peace to Marcus Combs, man. Comedy legend. Marcus OG Combs passed stuff. away? OG yeah. from Chicago. Yeah. Rest in peace, Marcus Combs. I said it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Marcus Combs passed away? Yes. Yeah. When? Yesterday. Yes, yeah, yesterday. It just happened, TB. Yeah. We yeah, talked to Trump talking about that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Bro, he one of the first comedians I ever seen kill, kill, kill that in real a, life, bro. He's a monster. He was a monster. I did Bad Boys of Comedy with him, man. That's one of my OGs. That's one of the, the people that will always check on me. Like, nigga, you getting bigger, goddammit. That nigga called me. <laughs> you getting fatter, nigga. <laughs> So oh, shout out to that. I'm gonna miss that brother, man. That motherfucker is a wow. is so underrated, man. Go, his special just dropped on YouTube. Uh, I don't know if that was supposed to be time like that, but shit is crazy, man. Y'all go love on the people that you love, man. And uh, rest in peace, Marcus Combs, bro. Yeah, 
Shout out to that, man. Uh, yo, boy, let the people know, man. Uh, man, y'all can check me out, man, um, every morning on YouTube and on uh, Instagram, the Morning Cup of Dough Morning Show. You understand? Um, tomorrow, if you're in the L.A. area, I'm on the big show with Miss Tabitha at her Kale My Name restaurant with uh, London Brown, C.T., a bunch of other funny uh, comedians. Y'all can check it's me out. It's a real big show now, ain't it? Shut your ass up. Um, so, yeah, check me out, man. Follow me on all handles. I am Doughboy, I-A-M-D-O-B-O-Y. Yeah. Sing P, let the people know, man. Hey, what up, man? I'm actually about to get dressed and go to my uh, show at Los Globos uh, tonight, 8 o'clock, man. Uh, it's about to be lit. Um, uh, let me see who all on here tonight. Man. I, I think I'm going to be a show on uh, Wednesday. Yeah, I, got a te- I got a text about a show that you're doing this week. I don't know if it's today or tomorrow. Uh, wait, I think yeah, James, I'm, James I'm, Davis I'm is on tomorrow. it here. I'm doing a show tomorrow with uh, Sarah Mello. And then, yeah, doing, I got that, yeah. okay. and then I have yeah. another one on Thursday night at the comedy store, my usual um joint at um with the uh, Tahir gonna be on that one. That's my crack em up. So yeah, man, we out here, man. Like, you know, come check out your boy live, man. I just got back from uh where was I at? I was in Greensboro. We had a ball, man. Me, Rez Thomas, Reggie Jr. was all there in uh Greensboro. Killing, man. Loving it. And uh what else? That's it. Um yeah, run the world season two coming. Uh, yeah, man, love y'all, man. Be safe, man. Be smart. Think twice. Act once. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, man, I am Brandon Lewis. You can follow me on Instagram. Who is Brandon Lewis? The Lewis brand clothing line has just dropped. You can get those pieces and see where they at. Uh, the new colorways and items on my Instagram right now. So go to my Instagram. Who is Brandon Lewis? I got the merch that just dropped. The uh, T-shirts, crew necks, hoodies, more items is coming soon. More colorways is coming soon, but you can go get those pieces right now. Ship to your door directly. Tune in every Tuesday right here live on Caffeine slash All Death slash Roast This Podcast. And tune in every other Wednesday to watch Roast Me Season 5 Classroom Edition starring myself and CP. Get these laughs, get these jokes, follow us, tell a friend to tell a friend and keep building us up on these platforms so we can be bigger than life. That is all. We will see y'all next Tuesday. Hey, yeah. but before we get out of here, real quick, I said that someone said I can't look at the old videos on caffeine. Uh, what you gotta do is click on either the, the actual caffeine all deaf logo, and then you can see all our VODs and everything from uh past and previous stuff. Or if you go to caffeine.tv slash all deaf slash profile, you can find it that way too. Because people have a tough time finding those VODs, but they are there. All the stuff that we've done is still on this app, or still on this web, on this page. So, that being said, I go. We out. Peace. Yeah. Peace. All right, y'all. Screen there, y'all. Yes, sir. Wonderful episode. Wonderful episode. I really enjoyed it. Now, back to my thoughts and my opinions about this episode. You know. This episode four, it was okay. I, I must say that Hungapon, they did not bad, but he laughed at himself. He had a good he had a good showing. But um Stevie J my my personal opinion about Stevie J is that when they when they was cracking jokes on Stevie J, he gave that look like he's not really comfortable with people joking on him like that. And I don't think that's a good outlook to have because to be on Roast Me, you must be able to take jokes and give jokes. So he needs to work on that. But um, the episode and everything, it went, it went by smoothly. I really enjoyed it. I love when they talked about the different situations that happened, such as the situation that happened with um, the wardrobe. When you are, when you are doing presenting, sometimes really need to double check to see if there isn't any malfunction. But I do think that certain things happen, so you can't really, really prepare for that. You can only try to prevent it. But um, other than that, everyone did a good job. I really appreciate uh, CP jokes in between the segments and everything like that. CP is really entertaining along. Along with a few of Doughboy's jokes and below. Other than that, this is Steph Reacts, and until next time, peace.